Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 6 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.9, exercises 2.1 to 2.4, examples 1 to 14 and questions 1 to 5 of the same exercise 2.5. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 6 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangle says, ABC is an equilateral triangle of side 2A, find each of its altitudes. So here they have not given us the figure, so let us first draw an triangle ABC which is an equilateral triangle. So we got a triangle ABC where all the three sides are equal and each of its sides will be equal to 2A. So side AB is 2A, side BC is 2A, similarly side AC is 2A. So we have to now find each of its altitude. So, so in a given triangle, we have three altitudes starting from all the three vertex. So let us draw an altitude AD from vertex A to side BC. Similarly, you can draw the other two altitudes starting from vertex B and C to side AC and a, B. So these three are the altitudes. So, and if you observe in an equilateral triangle, the length of all the three vertices will be equal. So for now, let us first find out the length of the altitude A, D, which will be equal to other two altitudes. Okay, so first of all, let us write down what is given in the question. So they have given us triangle A, B, C is an equilateral triangle of side 2, A. So write down given triangle A, B, C is an equilateral triangle of side 2A and we have to find out its altitudes. Okay, so let us draw AD perpendicular to BC. So let AD be the altitude perpendicular to BC. So whenever an altitude is drawn to one of the side of a triangle, then a 90 degree angle is formed at both the sides of the altitude right so therefore here you can observe that this altitude ad divides the triangle abc into two right triangle that is triangle abd and triangle adc so now let us prove that triangle abd and triangle adc to be congruent so that we can apply the cpct criteria and find out the length of altitude ad so here we are proving the two triangles to be congruent and not similar because in congruency all the three sides of the triangle will be equal and here since we have find out one of the sides that is ad so therefore we are using the congruency criteria okay in similarity criteria the ratio of the corresponding sides will be equal since we don't want the ratio of the corresponding sides of the two triangles and we just want the side therefore we are proving the two triangles to be congruent so write down now in triangle abd and triangle adc so here the side ab will be equal to side ac in these two triangles abd and adc since abc is an equilateral triangle where all the three sides will be equal right since it is an equilateral triangle ab will be equal to ac and and that will be equal to bc so write down side ab will be equal to ac since triangle abc is an equilateral triangle where all the three sides of the triangle will be equal if we name this as angle 1 and angle 2 we can say that in triangle abd and triangle adc angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degree so angle 1 equal to angle 2 since it is a 90 degree angle and also the side ad is common for both the triangles ABD and triangle ADC. So we will write AD is equal to AD, that is the side AD is equal to AD, common side, common side in both the triangles. So therefore here we can apply RHS congruency criteria, RHS congruency criteria we will have a right angle common in both the triangles. So here angle 1 is equal to angle 2 which is equal to 90 degree. Then we will have a hypotenuse in both the triangle. So here AB is equal to AC which is the hypotenuse. So this criteria is met and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 that is equal to 
the right angle and one of the side will be equal so ad is equal to ad so side is equal between both the triangles abd and adc so therefore we can apply by rhs congruency criteria we can say that the triangle abd is congruent to triangle adc now since these two triangles are congruent then we can apply the corresponding product of the congruent triangles will be equal so the left over sides that is bd and dc will be equal okay therefore by corresponding product of congruent triangles we can say that the remaining sides and angles will be equal so here the side in triangle abd that is bd will be equal to dc in the triangle adc so therefore we can write that is bd is equal to dc okay so let this be equation 1 now if you observe in triangle abc the side bc is equal to so in triangle abc bc is equal to what bd plus dc so let this be equation 2 now let us substitute equation 1 that is bd is equal to dc in equation 2 so substituting bc is equal to bd plus instead of dc let us write bd so this will be equal to bc is equal to 2bd now let us substitute the value of bc from the figure where bc is equal to 2a 2a equal to 2bd so 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we are just left with a equal to bd a equal to bd so let this be equation 3 okay now if you look at triangle abd it is a right angle triangle since it is a right angle triangle now we can apply the pythagoras theorem since triangle abd is a right angle triangle so therefore let us apply the pythagoras theorem so by pythagoras theorem we have the hypotenuse square here the hypotenuse is ab because it is the side opposite the right angle so we have the hypotenuse square that is ab square equal to the square of the other two sides that is bd square plus ad square bd square plus ad square so now let us substitute the value of ab and bd value of ab we already know that is equal to 2a and the value of bd is equal to a so ab is 2a the whole square is equal to bd is a square plus ad square 2a square will be 4a square 2 square is 4 and a square equal to a square plus ad square now let us send this a square to the left hand side so therefore we will get ad square is equal to 4a square minus a square that is 4 minus 1 is 3a square so we got ad square is equal to 3a square now let us take square root on both the sides okay so taking square root on both the sides we have square root of ad square is equal to square root of 3a square so this square and square root will can get cancelled and we are just left with ad equal to here let us separate as root 3 into root a square so again here the square and square root will get cancelled and we will be left with ad is equal to root 3a so here we got the value of the altitude ad similarly the value of the altitudes bf and ce will be equal since it is an equilateral triangle so therefore let us write down since ad is equal to bf is equal to ec and that will be equal to root 3 a since all the three altitudes of the triangle abc will be equal since it is an equilateral triangle so now let us write down so therefore each of the altitudes of triangle abc will be equal to root 3 a since it is an equilateral triangle each of altitudes of triangle abc is equal to root 3 a since it is an equilateral triangle so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section 
in my next video i'll be solving question number seven from exercise 2.5 chapter 2 triangle so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen thank you